I've been sent to the salt mines. I'm on location in Saltville, Virginia, scene of the Confederate Salt Works. Located in southwest Virginia, Saltville has been producing salt since the 1780s. The sign into town touts its role as the one-time salt capital of the Confederacy. In early October 1864, federal forces under Stephen Burbridge tried to destroy the Saltville Salt Works. Confederates under John Breckinridge intercepted them just outside of town and beat back repeated assaults. Overnight, Burbridge retreated, leaving behind his wounded men under a flag of truce. Unfortunately, many of those men were United States colored troops, and Confederate soldiers murdered them in cold blood as they lay wounded in the field and later in a hospital. When Breckinridge found out, he put a stop to it. It has since become known as the Saltville Massacre. In December, George Stoneman led his Federal Cavalry into the area and this time succeeded in destroying the salt works. At Salt Park, you can visit a reconstructed salt manufacturing facility, complete with a brine pump and a salt furnace. Salt is a necessary preservative, which made it vital for every kitchen. And that, of course, made the work here extremely important. But just imagine what it must have been like to stand here next to these steaming vats of brine as they evaporated, and what the vapors must have been like under this enclosed roof. You can learn more about Saltville's story at the Museum of the Middle Appalachians, located downtown. Saltville is also home to the Salt Trail, as well as an overlook that provides a view of the first battlefield. On location for Emerging Civil War, I'm Chris Mikowski.